Use promo code MATCASTER for 5% off your order at Face to Face Games, Canada's largest Magic the Gathering store. Qualified orders get free shipping Canada wide if you use our promo code MATCASTER at checkout. Whether you're buying singles or sealed product, use our code to support the show and get a discount. Welcome back, everyone, to another Magic the Gathering Market Movers, and happy Monday. Today is May the 22nd, 2023, and before we jump into things here, as per usual, I wanted to go over the affiliate links in my description. I do have a Dragon Shield affiliate link as well as a TCG player affiliate link, and any purchase that you make using those links, I get a small bonus from it, and it really helps support the channel. Now, here are my lovely Patreon supporters. You guys are the reason why I can make content like this on a daily basis, so thank you all very much. With that being said, let's get moving. Starting our looser section off here today with Fable of the Mirror Breaker from Kamigawa Neon Dynasty down 5.96% from $23 to $21.62 for its market price and its average price is $24.56. Next up here is a Legends Rare Hell's Caretaker down 7.20% from $59.03 to $54.78 for its market price, and its average price is $58.80. Elish Norn, and this is the showcase version of the card from March of the Machine, down 7.31% from $16.29 to $15.10 for its market price, and its average price is $16.98. Ledger Shredder, and this is the extended art version of this card from Streets of New Capenna, down 8.37% from $17.08 to $15.65 for its market price, and its average price is $19. Koryo's Vengeance from Betrayers of Kamigawa, this card is down 8.86% from $16.25 to $14.81 for its market price, and its average price is $15.10. Phyrexian Obliterator, and this is the Masters 25 version of this mythic, down 9.26% from $21.05 to $19.10 for its market price, and its average price is $18.88. Our final loser of the day is Amiria's Call from Zendikar Rising. This card is down 10.95% from $10.50 to $9.35 for its market price, and its average price is $10.53. And now we're going to be taking a look at the biggest winners of the day, and we are going to start that list off here with Nissa Resurgent Animus from March the Machine, the Aftermath. This card is up 5.01% from $38.69 to $40.63 for its market price, and its average price is $45. And the foil etch version of the card is currently sitting at $42.52 for its market price, and its average price is $46. The extended art version of this card from the Collector Boosters is currently sitting at $39.69 for its market price, and its average price is $49. And the retro frame version of the card is sitting at $49.00. 18 cents for its market price and its average price is $70 and this card is seeing some pioneer play right now in five color mid-range as well as modern decks like four to five color on math and it also sees some commander plays a like commander itself and in other decks like thalia and the git rock monster the next winner here is Shieldred from March the Machine. This card is up 6.56% from $23.78 to $25.34 for its market price, and its average price is $23.34. The pre-release version of the card is currently sitting at $26 for its average price. The showcase version of the card is sitting at $21.05 for its market price, and its average price is $20.89. And this card is seeing a lot of Pioneer play right now in decks like Rogues and Rakdos Midrange. However, it's also seeing some Commander play in decks like Attracts a Praetor's Voice and also Omnath Locus of All. And the next winner on our list is Karn Legacy Reforged from March the Machine. The Aftermath this mythic is up 11.06% from $13.38 to $14.86 for its market price. And its average price is $14.73. The foil etch version of the card is currently sitting at $19.38 for its average price. The retro frame version of the card is sitting at $29.33 for its market price, and its average price is $30.70. And the extended art version of this card from the Collector Boosters is currently sitting at $17.44 for its market price, and its average price is $17.97. And this card is seeing a ton of commander play right now in decks like Urza Chief Artificer, Shurikai Genesis Engine, Jiretti Scrap Savant, and also Urzet Remnant Memnarch. 
And the next winner here is a March the Machine card, Invasion of Ikoria. This card is at 13.57% from $13.73 to $15.48 for its market price, and its average price is $14.43. And the pre-release version of the card is currently sitting at $23.60 for its average price, and this card is seeing a ton of Pioneer play right now, Nykdos Ramp decks, as well as Commander decks like Itali Primal Conqueror, Jassassan's Avatar, and also Omnath Locus of All, which is another card that we got in March the Machine. The next winner here is another green card from March of the Machine, Ozolith the Shattered Spire. This card is up 18.43% from $6.24 to $7.39 for its market price, and its average price is $6.61. The pre-release version of this card is currently sitting at $8.50 for its average price. The promo pack version of the card is sitting at $4.81 for its market price, and its average price is $6.00. And the extended art version of this card from the Collector Boosters is currently sitting at $7.96 for its market price, and its average price is $7.20. And this card is seeing a ton of modern play right now in Hardened Scales decks, as well as Commander decks like Chalet and Halar, and attracts a Praetor's Voice. The next winner here is another March the Machine, the Aftermath card, Cure Sovereign of the Deep, and this is the showcase version of the card, up 18.54% from $6.85 to $8.12 for its market price, and its average price is $9.50. And the regular copy is currently sitting at $2.66 for its market price, and its average price is $3.25. The extended art version of the card is sitting at $4.44 for its market price, and its average price is $5.75, and the foil etched version of the card is currently sitting at $4.55 for its average price, and the halo foil version of the card is sitting at $30.28 for its market price, and its average price is $50, and this card is seeing most of its play in the commander format as a commander itself, and in other decks like Krufix, God of Horizons, and also Tatyova, Benthic Druid. And the next winner on our list is another March of the Machine card, Archangel Elspeth, and this is the borderless version of the card up 19.03% from $5.57 to $6.63 for its market price, and its average price is $6.38. And the regular copy is currently sitting at $5.57 for its market price, and its average price is $5.10. The pre-release version of the card is sitting at $15 for its average price. The promo pack version of the card is sitting at $5.38 for its market price, and its average price is $6. And this card is seeing a ton of Pioneer play in decks like Selesnya Angel, as well as commander decks like Giada Font of Hope, Tessa Karloff, and also Thalia and the Gitrog Monster, which is a new card we got in March the Machine. Our final winner here is an Ikoria Lair of Behemoth's Mythic Kin and Bonder Prodigy. This card is up 21.60% from $10.23 to $12.44 for its market price, and its average price is $11.20. The pre-release version of the card is sitting at $15 for its average price. The promo pack version of the card is sitting at $7.90 for its market price, and its average price is $11.46. And the extended art version of the card from the Collector Boosters is currently sitting at $14.50 for its market price, and its average price is $15.95. And while this card does see a lot of commander play, it's seeing some recent play in Pioneer, in 4-Color Control, and salt Eye Control decks. And now we're going to be taking a look at the biggest foil winners of the day. And we are going to start that list off here with... Tyvar, the Belkos. And this is the Halo foil version from March of the Sheen, the Aftermath, up 6.18% from $29.31 to $31.12 for its market price. And its average price is $42.47. Slicer Hired Muscle, and this is the Shattered Glass version of this card from Universes Beyond Transformers, up 7.12% from $257.76 to $276.11 for its foil market price, and its average price is $344.72. Blood Tribute from Zendikar, this foil is up 7.69% from $20.42 to $21.99 for its foil market price, and its average price is $9.59. We've got an old frame foil here from Odyssey Cephalid Coliseum up 7.98% from $77.83 to $84.04 for its foil market price, and its average price is $86.45. Ratcatcher, and this is the original printing of this card from Dissension. It's up 8.33%. It's up $14.52 to $15.73 for its foil market price, and its average price is $15.28. Eric Smith is Slumbering Isle, and this is the Halo foil from March of the Machine, Multiverse Legends, at 14.36% from $7.73 to $8.84 for its foil market price, and its average price is $7.61. 
Next up is a March the Machine Borderless Foil Chandra Hopes Beacon. This card is at 14.91% from $14.82 to $17.03 for its foil market price, and its average price is $44. And the next foil winner here is a Betrayers of Kamigawa foil Tendo Ice Bridge up 14.94% from $19.68 to $22.62 for its foil market price, and its average price is $21.96. We've got a 7th edition foil here, Untamed Wilds, and this foil is up 26.19% from $9.43 to $11.90 for its foil market price, and its average price is $25.50. Thank you all so much for taking time out of your day to watch my Magic the Gathering market movers and it really really means a lot to me. If you could, could you hit that like button down below so this video does get shared into YouTube's algorithm so I can continue to grow on this platform. Obviously all likes and comments that you guys have been leaving have really helped grow my channel and I'm forever grateful for that. Also let me know in the comment section below what was your favorite mover of the day, which cards would be most surprised to see on the list, which cards do you actually own that showed up on the list today. I do read every single comment that you guys leave so please leave them there down below for me to read. Also I make these videos from Monday to Friday so I will be back again tomorrow for another Magic the Gathering, Market Movers, and until then, please enjoy the rest of your day. Being a patron will help me produce more market movers and add to the funds that I will use for my random buys and also to my coffee fund because I drink a lot of coffee for these videos. And here you can see a link below in the description that will give you all the tiers and what you get in each tier. So I hope you guys click and think about joining. And with that, I'll see you next video. Think about uh, supporting the channel in that way. If not, subscribe, like, leave a comment, and I will see you again in the next video.